Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Lovecast 25. Tell me in the chat if you can hear and you see us. <clears throat> you know, I just said, tell me if you can hear and see us right into the computer with the microphone way over here, and I didn't mute that. Here's the perils of working outside for the first time. <sighs> Greetings and salutations. Now can you hear me? Fuck, I just asked for a response, and I'm too far away to be able to read the chat, so... I'm just going to take it on technological faith that we're all good. <clears throat> all right, all right. <clears throat> Welcome to Lovecast 25. Thought a little change of scenery would be nice to break things up. Wolfgang is a little weirded out by the whole I can see birds and be by the fire. It's a factor. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. I'm going to open up this evening with an original. Smoke them if you got them. You were here, need to scream out loud, need to feel someone near. She wrote for hours, then she laid in that bed. Now my mom's still gone with social pain in her head. So leave the cap off the bottle and talk to me. Leave the cap off the bottle and talk to me. Leave the cap on your bottle and talk to me. Leave nothing out, just open it up. On the cross, who would I say that to the dying? It was a final loss. Took her ashes to our bench, and the God walks the streets. Big sweat up on chefs, he spoke long and drank deep. Leave the cap off the bottle and talk to me. Cap off the bottle and 
talk to me Leave the cable on your Bible and talk to me Leave nothing out Just open up Double check the uh, chat here to make sure there are no emergency messages of, oh my god, why don't you fix the sound? Can't you see what I'm saying? <clears throat> All right, good. Good, I'm seeing nothing but applause and happy faces. This is. Off to a good start. Except I keep getting abandoned by my cohort. He keeps running inside going, dude, it's showtime. I'm hanging out in the living room by the fire where we're supposed to be, where are you? Yeah, he literally just like keeps running inside. Wolfus! Wolfus! You know the expression, like herding cats? comes to mind. <clears throat> All right, uh, I think I'm going to continue on with the... Uh, some Rolling Stones. Anymore, won't 
them to turn black I see the girls walk by dressed in their song clothes I have to turn my head till my darkness goes It's cold. I wanna see the sun Blighted out from the sky I see you painted Painted black Ooh Hey, hey Ooh The uh, neighbors are listening. That's, uh, that's only happened once before. Actually, no. I'm confusing that with a rehearsal. I can never hear the neighbors except when their car alarms go off during these things. So, uh, yeah. Thank you all. And when I say the neighbors, I don't even mean the people that live here. I mean the people that have rented the cabin uphill a little ways. <clears throat> happens. Weird times becoming normal. All right. So, speaking of weird times becoming normal. Wrote this next song in one of those such times. Um, this is off of uh, Hunter and the Dirty Jacks um, most recently available album. We have one more recorded that isn't public yet. <clears throat> this is from Chase the Moonlight. This is called Highway One. Oh, yeah. 
my glass she is not half empty but it could be just a little bit better see some beats do nothing but do something would be better in the love bus doors flew open see the northern highway one I know you heard he's a different man on too But honey, he's just begun I know you heard he's a different man on too But honey, he's just begun And uh, got a little gang of western bluebirds that have come for a last sip of the feeder before taking off for the night. This is kind of lovely playing outside. I'm <clears throat> Earlier in the summer, it was right around this time, it was much too loud out here. And by loud, I just mean the occasional, like, motocross dirt bike going across the, uh, uh, out in front of the house or... Uh, you know, car alarm off in the distance, etc. So, uh, another week or two, it's going to be too damn cold. So, I think uh, hitting this tonight is just about right. So, um, speaking of things in addition to the weather that I'm grateful for. Uh, I've got to take a quick second to uh, say thank you to the people that got virtual tickets for last week's Lovecast 24. Um, Svetlana Mikalkova. It's like a third variation on your name. Am I getting closer or further? You're going to have to let me know. Um, Miss Meg Sampson. Claire Bear Foster. And uh, Claire, by the way, is uh, also a photographer up in the Lake Tahoe area, and she posted a bunch of really adorable bear pictures that she's taken from bears in her local ecosystem. Uh, check out her. Uh, Claire, if you have a, uh, a, a photography Instagram or something like that, please post it here in the chat. I really don't know. I just see your pictures on Facebook and, and in the birthday card that she sent me. <laughs> That was really sweet. Uh, David McDonald, Julie Emery, Ed and Susie Marsh, Asher Hill, Asher, Asher, who puts up the band every time we like straggle through Seattle and we need a place to stay. He has offered us couches and floor space on more than one occasion. Bless that man. Uh, Joy and Ed King. Josepha Snyder, who is always it's just an extremely loyal, um, what do you call it, enthusiastic backer of music. I'm not sure. I think in the Renaissance they would have called that patron, but it's got such a masculine sort of ring to it. So whatever Josepha's modern day equivalent to that is, thank you, darling. I love you. And, uh, oh, and not to be forgotten is uh, Michelle Vanderpool, who I don't know if she sent me what she sent me specifically as a virtual ticket to Lovecast 24 because it specifically said, happy birthday, please buy yourself a nice, cool, exotic bottle of whiskey with this. So uh, <laughs> and if it was a, a virtual ticket or just a really nice birthday present, thank you, darling. <clears throat> All right, let's move on to... Oh. oh, you know, and as an added bonus, I should have said this at the beginning instead of 20 minutes in or whatever. If someone could do me the favor of just like keeping track of the set list, I am doing all these out of order and... Um, our blessed patron saint of the Vaudacity Network, uh, Sam, is putting these back together and uh, he's kind of reposting these historically with a set list. Asked for notes from me and my notes after, my notes beforehand are copious. My notes afterwards are huge, like 
piles of music that I finish the song and toss it off to the side. So that would be much appreciated. <clears throat> All right, all right, all right. Um, capo. This is being a night of music outdoors going to also be a night of tuning. But as someone before me once said, never apologize during a show for tuning. Apologize after the show for not tuning This next song is, um, this next song is something that uh, I recruited the help last July, early July, from uh, a buddy of mine to do a little duet video for. When I saw, when I saw that it was Tim Bloom's monumental 50th birthday, I immediately uh, put into works the plan to do a, a little duet of my favorite Tim Bloom song with uh, a buddy of mine that I think I would only know because of the mother hips, honestly. Um, so, Kellen Coffus graciously threw in to do a, a duet of this Tim Bloom song called Lift the Trunk. Lobby of the 
Apple Hall. They saw you there and they called you over. Sing on the white cliffs of Dover. I got too close to the wild love. Someone's and no more head games control. I can't tell you whose mule it was. But she blushes when her Jenny does. Boys lift the trunk, yeah, lift the trunk. The wheels are broke, our shirts are so gay. Boys lift the trunk, in prayer that they piss. If sweat was gold, we'd all be famous. I'm conflicted as to uh, who and what to plug afterwards. Uh, Uncle Greg, also of the Mother Hips, is doing his live cast at 7 o'clock. He's going to have the Mother Hips bass player Brian Rashup and I think one other accompanist uh, with him. Um, although he usually chimes in with his kids and uh, whole willing family, it's, it's just adorable. And um, at 7.30, also on this very YouTube channel that you are watching us on, the, uh, the Vaudacity Network, at 7.30 is the regular Thursday night 7.30 show, Quarantine with Friends, which is uh, just a, a wonderful, hysterical way to recover from the drinking of a love cast that, if you're diligent, you will have been keeping up on. <clears throat> Uh, I'm I'm kind of kidding. They drink a lot more than I do, uh, <laughs> but uh, while while I'm capoed here, I think I'm gonna do another. There we go. <clears throat> I'm gonna do one more, one more Tim Bloom song. <clears throat> I said, never apologize for tuning, apologize for recycling jokes and for not tuning. But that's how it rolls. I seem to have lost my cat. He's He's rolling around here somewhere. He's, you know what? He's probably actually inside the living room. Literally on the other side of this wall is where I normally do love casts. He's probably sleeping in his shark bed, literally right here, like wondering what the hell I'm doing outside so late. <clears throat> like, dude, we got a show to do. <laughs> where are you? All right. So that last song was called Lift the Trunk, and uh, as I said, that's my personal favorite Tim Bloom song. However, <clears throat> I 
I, I think this next song is 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 the one that the man is going to be remembered for. doing something a little more upbeat next and uh, you know having this much time to reflect in the time of quarantine uh, 
Yeah, you might be so fortunate as to take stock of the people that you've become friends with over the years. And um, sometimes when you're taking stock of those friends, You're lucky enough that one of them comes back from a, a near-death experience and you, you get the, the opportunity to ask, you know, you wrote this song that I learned when you were in a fucking coma and I couldn't figure out like about five words in this thing as obsessively as I listen to this over and over and over again. So... One of the things I'm most re just extraordinarily grateful for uh, amongst the, the friends and people that are listening right now is my buddy Ned Clark, who I got to clarify as to what is like one line in this brilliant song the man wrote. <clears throat> so this song is called Fall Canyon Trail. There's a trail of me yours that's been talked about before Path from the distant past But for fifty years or more no one's walked that corridor Cause the brush grows too damn fast it Grows too damn fast The forest is born again Through the charred remains Over hills and over plains Come six stout hearted men To clear the trail again Six quacks on upon their backs Pair of lappers and knives These brave men would not fail you can take it as a fact They will keep their silent pact And ride for Canyon Tree And for Canyon Tree With precision like a laser Swinging axe sharp as razors Felling trees with a single chop Digging tread you bitch, you rascal. They will use an Pulaski And I almost had the time Almost had the time Sisquacks on upon their backs Pair of lampers and knives These brave men would not fade You can take it as a fact They will keep their silent pact Up and tunnel, dead in Mexico, Chinese fun will come traveling through the veil of the lost Padres, miss full of vinegar and piss to ride for Canyon Tree, ride for Canyon Tree. Says Quark's on upon their backs, pair of lappers and an axe. These brave men. You can take it as fact They will keep their silent pact And ride for Canyon Tree Ride for Canyon Tree Ride for Canyon Tree Ride for Canyon Tree Bad 
ein funkelnden Schwer. Good to see you back up on your feet and functional, Ned. I love you, brother. <laughs> you know, somewhere, somewhere out in the ether, I have this vision of Ned in his basso profundo taking off his hat and this very solemn bow of appreciation. He's a classy dude, what can I tell you? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, um, I'm not sure what, if anything, to say about this next song, but, uh, this might be one of those times that there's nothing to say that you just tune up and play it. So, um, I said on a, on a previous love cast that Burning Man is one of the emotional high points in my life. It's more like, um, it's more like an emotional reset, if you will. It's the thing that I usually use as the basis to keep me grounded going forward to whatever the rest of the year presents. <clears throat> and um, one of my annual traditions is to just go to the temple and uh, make no announcement. It's a formal show is the antithesis of what I intend out of this, but uh, Let's go to the temple and bring a guitar and maybe just play one song and leave everything else afterwards in silence. And um, frequently, this is the one song that I'll choose. Through you, 
She tied you to the kitchen chair She broke your throne and she cut your hair From your lips she drew the hallelujah 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 You know I used to live alone Before I knew you And I've seen your flag on the marble arch Love is not a victory march It's a cold day, it's a broken Hallelujah Hallelujah Okay, um, I've got just a, a little bit more time with you guys here. 
And, um, in fact, let's see, okay. <clears throat> I think we'll look over to my televised accompanist since I spent so much time making sure the damn television would work outdoors in the balcony. <clears throat> and if this voids the warranty, please don't tell China or wherever the hell this came from. <clears throat> This is the point that it's uh, going to get a little strange for those neighbors if they're still listening in the rented cabin above, above me because there is no external audio to this television. It's all feeding straight into YouTube and uh, they're going to hear this and go, hey, is that Rolling Stones acapella? But, you know, they're partying. <clears throat> Probably won't notice one way or the other. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. All right, so uh, this is one of the Rolling Stones country songs and is uh, and is a personal favorite of my dad's because <laughs> uh, because the the Van Zant recording is the closing credits for dad's favorite movie The Big Lebowski. Sitting there in your silk upholstered chair, talking to some rich fool that you know. Well, I hope you don't see me in my raggy company. Take me down, little Susie, take me down. I know you think you're the queen of the underground And you can't send me dead flowers in the morning Send me dead flowers by the mail Send me dead flowers at my wedding and I won't forget to put roses on your grave When you're sitting back in your rose pink Cadillac Making bets on Kentucky Derby Day I'll be in my basement room With a needle and a spoon Another girl to take my pain away. Hey, take me down, little Susie. Take me down. I know you think you're the queen of the underground. And you can't send me dead flowers in my own Send me dead flowers by me Send me dead flowers in my wedding And I won't forget to put roses on your grave
Take me down, little Susie. Take me down. I know you think you're the queen of the underground. And you can't send me dead flowers in the mountain. Send me dead flowers by the U.S. May. Sing with dead flowers in my wedding. And I won't forget to put roses on your grave. No, I won't forget to put roses on your grave. Is that the neighbor dogs or is that? A, yeah, right. <laughs> One of the neatest things about uh, quarantining, about quarantining exactly right here, is within a block or two there are more than one Siberian Husky. I think there's at least two, and every now and then, particularly around the full moon, the Huskies will get upset about something and they'll come out and they'll just like sing the song of their people and they'll be this this this. Oh, kind of thing and if there are enough coyotes that have come from the local woods to the streets that surround these cabins then the local coyotes will join them and if the huskies and the coyotes go together in concert the moon ridge zoo is about three quarters of a mile from here and there are five wolves that hear all the other canids and join in and this only happens maybe once or twice a month and I'd say never before 11 p.m. or so I want to say it's exactly at midnight on a poet you know on a poetic scale but they're not watching their uh, time pieces <clears throat> uh, one more for y'all and uh, quarantine with friends is going to start at 7.30 on the dot, I'm sure. With Sam Mikulich at the helm, punctuality is most definitely assured. <clears throat> and um, this is a Pearl Jam song, Just Breathe. Yes, I understand every life must end. Uh -huh. As we sit alone, I know someday we must go. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm a lucky man to count on both hands the ones I love. Some folks they got one, yeah, others they got none. Uh -huh. Stay with me, oh, let's just breathe. Practiced all my sins, never gonna let me win. Uh -huh. Everything, just another human being. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't want to hurt. There's so much in this world to make me bleed. Someone stay with me. Oh, all I see. Did I say that I need you? Oh, did I say that I want you? Oh, if I didn't, I'm a fool, you see. No one knows this more than me. As I come clean, I won't every day as I look upon your 
streets on Everything you gave it, nothing you would save on now Nothing you would take concludes Lovecast 25. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, one more time, uh, Uncle Greg Loyacano is doing a birthday show on his page at 7 o'clock, so I'm probably overlapping it by a couple minutes. And, uh, yeah, come back for, uh, come back to this network, Vaudacity, at 7.30 for Quarantine with Friends. I love you all. Thank you for joining me outside tonight. <laughs>